Following Donald Trump's US election win, lots of you got in touch with your questions about America's next president. Well, BBC News correspondent Anna Foster has been covering the election in the capital city of Washington and sent us these answers. Hi, Newsround. I'm Anna and welcome to the White House. This is where America's president lives and works. And right now it's Joe Biden, but soon it'll be Donald Trump. Thank you for all of the questions that you sent in. We're going to try and answer a few of them for you. The first one is really simple. It says, why did people vote for him? Well, when adults vote in elections, they have lots of different things that they're thinking about, but they try and pick the person who they think will make their life better. When Donald Trump was on the election campaign, he talked about the economy, making people feel better off and like they had more money and it went further. And that was a message that people really wanted to hear. He also talked about immigration and making it harder for more people to come into the country. And again, that was a message that lots of people did want to hear, even though lots of people who voted the other way didn't. Right, lots of questions like this one from Prowler, who wants to know what will Donald Trump do about the many conflicts going on in the world? One thing he is always really focused on, he says, is America first. So he maybe won't get quite so involved in conflicts around the world as, for example, Joe Biden just did. We don't quite know yet whether he'll have a really big impact on things like the war in the Middle East, although he's promised to try and fix it, but that's not an easy job, or things like the war in Ukraine, he might take away some American help for that. So we'll wait and see. Well, this next question is from Cool Panda 12 who asks, why was Donald Trump allowed to run for president when he was tried for several crimes? Well, a lot of those trials are still going on. There's just one where he's been convicted, found guilty, and that's in the state of New York. But the answer is, there aren't many rules about who can run for president. You have to be at least 35 years old, you have to have been born here in the United States, and you have to have lived here for at least 14 years. But beyond that, anybody can run for president. Now, another big topic that a lot of you have been asking about is the environment. And Little Leopard 456 asks this, is Donald Trump going to do anything about climate change? And if he is, what is he going to do? Well, a lot of experts are really worried, actually, about what Donald Trump as president, again, might do for climate change. Last time round, he pulled America out of a big agreement called the Paris Agreement, which is one of the ways that the world is trying to deal with climate change. He wants to do more things like drilling for oil. He said in the past before that he, he doesn't always really believe in green issues. So that's why some people think that actually when it comes to the environment, Donald Trump might well take America backwards rather than forwards. And this question doesn't have a name on it, but it says, will Donald Trump be able to run in the next US election? Because he will have had two terms, although not together. So here in the US, you can only be president twice. And after that, you have to give somebody else a turn unless he changes the law. Now he's joked about doing that before. I think that would be a pretty difficult thing to do. So in answer to the question, no, after this, that's probably it for Donald Trump. Thank you for answering our questions, Anna. And if you want to know more about Donald Trump and what his win could mean for the US, head to Newsround online and scroll down. We've got lots of stories to help you understand what's going on.